Squish is an online application that lets you explore some of the web's newest compression formats like WebP, ABIF, JPEG XL, and others. To use it, drag an image into the blob right here. On the left side of the screen is the original image, and on the right is the compressed image. On the bottom left, you can see the size of the original image. And on the right hand side, you can see the size of the image with compression. In the middle, there are some controls for changing the size of the image. Also the rotation. And changing the color of the background transparency. In the middle of the screen, you can click and drag a slider to compare how the original looks versus how the compressed image looks. The resize option lets you resize the image to get a smaller final size. You can choose a preset or a custom size. The reduce palette option lets you control how many colors are in your image and whether you want extra patterns called dithering to be applied. From the compressed menu, you can choose the type as well as the quality of the image. There are lots of different types and each type will have different options. Some images will compress better with some types. Once you like what you see, you can hit the download button to get the image. If you want to compare two different formats, you can hit the triangles at the top of the edit interface and choose two different formats to compare. Squish is an open source project that can also be controlled through a CLI or command line interface. There's a little icon at the top that will let you copy the code for the command to run in your terminal or use in your web application. Not all formats work with this feature. So I'm gonna choose WebP and then I'll click on the CLI icon. If you want to look at the CLI, you can click on this usage button and take a look at the CLI project. This means that you can choose an entire folder to apply these settings to. I'm going to paste the command and then hit spacebar and type in a star to compress all the files in that folder with those settings. Once you finish, you can click on this close button to close the application. You can also save this as an app by hitting the install button when you first come to the website. That way you can run the application offline without having to load the website. Be careful when choosing some of these newer formats since some of them aren't yet supported in browsers. Uh -huh.